Hello and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the new snapshot 18w48a for Minecraft 1.14. Welcome to this series where we take a look at the new snapshots for Minecraft and taking a look at what they contain. Let's get started. Alright, so to start off with, we have this new title screen that apparently was added in 18w47b but it was not there when I last did a video of it. So it's something that they have added later and after my recording. But this is a new title screen here showing off the new village, Plains Village, that we will be able to find in Plains Biomes. And we're going to be taking a look at that today. So that is the first thing I wanted to say. Let's jump in to the actual game and see what's changed and added. All right, so the first thing that I want to mention is the grindstone block has gotten some updates. So if we just go ahead and get a grindstone, the grindstone now has a functionality. First off, it now has its own recipe. So if we just get a quick crafting table out here and we try and craft one. So you need two planks of any wood. So I'm gonna take some oak planks. Then you need some sticks, two sticks in fact two sticks and then you need stone slab this specific one so put things like that and you get a grindstone which we of course have here also these can be found in village blacksmiths which hopefully we will see over there at that village that spawned next to me so that is perfect um, more about that later but we now have the grindstone and it now has a GUI and this is very interesting it kind of works the same way as a anvil, but kind of not. Let's take a closer look at it. If I have, for example, two tools, if I have an iron pickaxe and I have another iron pickaxe, and let's say this one is used, so let me just use it for a moment. All right, so I now have a slightly used pickaxe down here. Now note, the grindstone, whoa, okay. The grindstone has replaced the functionality that used to be in a crafting table. So before I would be able to combine two items in the crafting table. You no longer can do that. You have to use the grindstone. Um, so this is basically how it works. You put these two in here and it puts them together and you get the repaired item. And it also says in the wiki that putting two damaged items of the same type as inputs, these two, will combine their durabilities to form the new item in the output slot this one right here, with 5% durability bonus. So that is pretty cool. And just an extra thing to what I said before, not even if both of the tools have been used, can you put them in a crafting table to repair them. You have to have a grindstone to repair them and get the new item. All right, but now you might ask, well, isn't it the same as the anvil? No, because if you try and combine two items with enchantment on it, it removes the enchantment just like it did in the crafting table. If you want to keep the enchantment, you need to use the anvil just like before. But on the other hand, you will then get some XP in return. So you don't lose everything, but it still removes the enchantment, but it gives you some XP in return. So that is pretty cool right there. And I do believe that the more enchantments you have on an item, the more experience you will get. Because it says any enchants on the items will be removed upon performing the action, so repairing it, returning an amount of experience for each. So that basically means if you have two, then you'll get more experience in return than if you had one. So that is pretty cool right there. And I really like this update because it makes it more... You need to work a bit more. You can't just do everything in a crafting table. You actually need to create more of these tools right here to be able to do certain things. And of course, the anvil is still really useful because you can keep the enchantments. You cannot do that in the grindstone. And if you were to, for some reason, combine an ax with a pickaxe, you will just get a red cross, just like in an anvil, saying, sorry, we cannot do this. So yeah, that is pretty cool right there. And that is basically the grindstone. And oh, I forgot I was in creative. But uh, yeah, that's basically the grindstone and its new functionality. Now let us take a look at the new Plains Village. New look 
and adapt it to the plains biome. Let's take a look. I'm really excited about this because villagers used to just look the same all the time, but now, as you can see, things have changed quite a bit. So let's start from one end over here and take a look at the different buildings, what we can find in them, and yeah, go on a little adventure. So let us start with this building right here. So first off, we can see some wheat outside of this small tower here. I see some mossy cobblestone used in quite a few of the buildings, so that is pretty cool. But if we go inside and take a look, we have this villager right here, we have a bed, and we have a stair, and over here we have some windows and we have a torch. So this is a pretty cool house, I gotta say. Looks really cool from the outside as well. And one thing I would like to say, and this is mostly some technical stuff, uh, they use the new jigsaw block to generate the structures, and I believe they also use them to generate the pillagers outpost. So that is something to keep in mind there for those of you who are interested in that. And also they added new structure files for the village. So yeah, there you go. But let us now continue our tour in the village. Of course, we still have the farms here. They haven't changed, but looks like we do have an animal pen over here. So if we take a look from the building outside, it has kind of a roof or an overhang over here with some fences. Would be nice with a fence gate though. I don't see one over here. But I like the use of terracotta. So that is really cool. Got a window over here. And yeah, looks really cool. Oh, the door is here. Okay, that makes sense then. So we got windows, we got a drinking area and this cow apparently likes to take a bath, so that's fine. So a drinking slash bathing area, that's cool. We have some sheep in there and we also have cows and also the, these hay bales, which is pretty cool to see as well. Then we have this house over here, which seems to have a pig pen over here as well. So kind of, yeah, basically the same thing. Some more hay bales, a little bit bigger of an area over here for them to walk in if this tree wasn't in the way. Um, but yes, some more hay bales and another drinking area slash bathing area, I guess. More use of Marcy cobblestone, which is pretty cool. I believe the only way to get it before was in dungeons, so this is pretty cool. Um, again, the farm haven't changed. Oh, here we have a new building. So this seems like a shop thing, kinda. Let's go in and take a look. We see some carpets and what's this? Okay, interesting, interesting. And we have this new block here that yet does not have any functionality, so that is going to be pretty interesting. Really excited to see this block in here though. I guess this will be some sort of workstation or shop or something, so definitely are interested to see what they are going to use that for in the future. Some all random hay bales right here. Um, this house is on the ledge, but it still stands, so I guess that's fine. Looks like we have some makeshift power, power, flower pot thing over here and torch and a bit. Now I really like these torches in here because previously the houses were dark and monsters could actually spawn in them. But it does not seem to be the case here. I believe there were torches in here as well. Yes, I believe that's enough to light it all up to prevent mob spawning. Then we have yet another animal area over here for pigs apparently, some more hay bales and pigs, some more random hay bales over here, a farm, and here we have a animal pen. Actually this one does have a fence gate, that's pretty cool. Um, so this actually have a animal pen in here with a little pond for them to drink in, and of course some grass and flowers, pretty cool. And we have another house down here, we have not been in this one yet, so we have some cobblestone stairs here, another bit, and again, torches. I really like these buildings, I gotta say. Um, yeah, and also the paths here. It looks really, really good, especially with the mossy cobblestone here and there. It would make sense that there are some mossy cobblestone as it is the outside and in the wilderness. The This thing haven't changed, I don't think, other than it's just not as deep anymore. I believe usually you would find them way deeper. Um, but yeah, that haven't changed. I do believe we have some more stuff in here. Yes, we do. So some more random hay bales and a lonely house here in the woods. Wow, 
but it has some double doors. It has a yellow bed here and a chest apparently with some bread and some oak saplings. Unfortunately, we didn't get a blacksmith in this in this um, village, nor the fountain. I believe they added a fountain type structure in the villages. So I might just fly around and take a look here. All right, so I just flew around the world here around this village, um, pretty much looked in the entire plains biome. I didn't find any more villages, unfortunately, but I guess that just leaves some more stuff for you to explore. I think we will cut this video here. Um, we took a look at all the new features pretty much, so kind of a short update, but still a pretty important and cool one indeed. There was one issue fixed from the 1.14 development versions, so yeah. That's basically it for this snapshot video, which I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.